Hello, Evening Primrose Oil or EPO is the choice of treatment now in somebody who is reluctant to take oral contraceptive pills as a modality of treatment in acne and I am currently going by this because of several advantages that it holds. This is basically a plant extract. It is taken from the seeds of this primrose plant and it is very rich in essential fatty acids like linoleic acid and gamma linolenic acid. It almost contains 80-85% of these two fatty acids. These fatty acids cannot be synthesized by human body and have to be taken in the form of supplements because the dietary sources are very few, for example, the hemp seed oil or the seeds of the primrose plant itself. So the essential fatty acids are rich in omega-6 fatty acids and they help maintain the stability of cell membranes and also the health of the cell organelles and they've commonly uh, helped in treating certain feminine ailments like premenstrual syndrome, breast tenderness and perimenopausal hot flushes. In skin, it has a major, major role to play, especially in hormonal acne or the inflammatory forms of acne and also in atopic dermatitis or certain forms of eczemas, in psoriasis. Apart from these conditions, it, they have an entirely large role as an anti-cancer therapy in treating certain neurological conditions such as diabetic neuropathy and also in cardiac conditions such as atherosclerosis. So now you know why this EPO is so important and is also so interesting, especially in dermatology, because these essential fatty acids indirectly help in decreasing the inflammatory mediators in skin, such as TNF-alpha and interleukin-6, interleukin-1-beta, which play an important role. These inflammatory mediators especially cause the inflammatory forms of acne and if you are advised to take oral contraceptive pills because you are having hormonal acne and you do not want to take OCPs then the step one in the treatment of hormonal acne would be evening primrose oil. There are basically not many contraindications unless you have a bleeding disorder or you're suffering with schizophrenia or any kind of psychological disorders or in case you're pregnant, of course, you cannot be taking uh, EPOs. If you are on certain antivirals, especially for HIV infection, then here also there is a certain drug interaction where the EPOs can cause decreased bioavailability of these antivirals. So in this case, avoid taking it. EPOs are available in two uh, dosages. One is 500 and 1000 mg. I would suggest if you're starting, you would start with 500 mg and do not take it on your own, please. Uh, take it under the supervision of your physician or your dermatologist. So start with 500 mg because you could have some gastrointestinal or stomach disturbances in case you start with a higher dose. And also you should take it under the supervision of your doctor because in case you're on parallel therapy with antibiotics or anti-yeast medications or any retinoids, then they would plan it, to, plan it accordingly so that there's no drug interaction. And because of all these reasons, EPOs are known to improve the texture of your skin. They also improve the elasticity and they improve the keratinization cycle. So less acne troubles once you're on EPO. This is about it. And um, if you have any queries pertaining to EPOs, you can drop in the comment section below. Thank you.